Hey guys, my name is Oweis from Blue Effects and today we're going to be creating a simple, cool, slick looking and professional business explainer video using Microsoft PowerPoint. Yes, you heard me correctly, Microsoft PowerPoint. It might not always be the software that you turn to when the gun is to your head and you need to make something that looks slick, professional, cool and easy. Yet somehow it's actually the best tool for the job. So we're going to be making this little animation that you can see on the screen right now. It's really simple, really easy to follow. And to do this, we're going to be using BlueFX's um, whiteboard explainer pack that's built for Microsoft PowerPoint. Explainer videos have a large list of functions, whether you're using it to create a school project, university project, a presentation for your school, a presentation for your business that you need to um, show off to your colleagues. Maybe you are trying to show off a product for your actual business. You're doing contract or client work. Uh, Explainer videos have a long, large list of functions and they are really underutilized a lot of the times. But if you're able to tap into something where you can create an explainer video that looks slick, that looks professional, that looks shiny, cool, and really just high quality quickly, using effective time management, you are able to get across your product and get across your message to the viewers and audience that you are trying to connect with in a more entertaining way that flows better. So they're not actually bored just having you tell them about your product, rather show them and explain to them using a video. And there's no better way to do this than by using BlueFX's whiteboard explainer template. This is a really cool pack and product that comes with a whole bunch of different GIF animations, a whole bunch of elements, including arrows and lines and characters of all types to help you actually put together an explainer a video and it's all really high quality it comes pre-made in a microsoft powerpoint file you just open the files i'm going to show you how to do it now we're going to create that short little story that i talked about and um really in under 30 seconds you can create an animation it's really really simple all in microsoft powerpoint i know it's difficult for you to believe so let's jump into powerpoint and i'll show you just how real it actually is and how easy it is. So before we jump into PowerPoint, let's just take a look at what you actually get when you buy the whiteboard explainer PowerPoint pack from BlueFX. So you have the Keynote project because this works in Keynote as well, but you can also work it in PowerPoint, which is what we're going to be doing today. Now I'm going to be using the Windows version of PowerPoint, but if you have the Mac version of PowerPoint as well, it'll work there too. So let's open up the project and immediately what you'll see is you have a couple of pre-made stories which we're not going to be really diving into today. I'm more going to be using these ones over here. The main start, animated characters and design elements. So these three files contain PowerPoint presentations that have all of the different assets, whether it's design elements, characters or animated things that you can be using in this one, the main start here. So without further ado, let's open up the main start here. What I would recommend obviously is copying this into your actual project so that you're not ruining this uh, clean template um, so that you have a basis to start on if you're going to use it next time. But we opened it up and let's see what we have over here. First thing, click enable editing and then click enable content for macros. Macros is basically what allows this product to work. Okay, now what we have is three different slides over here. The first one is a thank you for, you know, investing in the BlueFX whiteboard explainer because it is an investment because you get to use it multiple times. But for now, we're going to click, click delete on the keyboard and delete this one. This is your main slide, which you can obviously duplicate multiple times. And this slide is something that's not visible on your final PowerPoint, but it contains a whole bunch of different hands and animations that are built into this pack that you can use in your main presentation. So let's get started immediately at making something similar to what I showed you earlier on. So for example, in my one, I had a green background of a chalkboard because I didn't want to use the standard background. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. For example, obviously this is a really cool gradiented background. You can use this, but I wanted to have my own. So let's go into insert, click on picture, and then we can just navigate to the place where it's stored. Here it is. I'm going to click it and select it. And here we have it immediately. So then I'm just going to scale it up. and move it into place until it looks good for me. Okay, it's taken up the whole area. And now let's say I wanna have this for every single slide. So what I'm gonna do is with this slide selected, I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna click duplicate. And then I'm gonna keep duplicating it as many times as I need for my actual project. Obviously, if you want slide four, for example, to be different, you can just go on slide four, delete the background and add a different one. But for me, in this case, I want to have all the slides have exactly the same background. Right. In slide number one, we want to start off like we did in the initial one with having a character here on the side of the screen. So where are we going to find the character? Well, remember what I said? You go back to here and we click on characters. 
Kertes is going to open up a new PowerPoint project. We can click enable editing once again. And here we have a whole bunch of different characters all doing different things. You know, we have him flying, we have him doing handshakes, we have him nailed to his job contract. We have, you know, a bit of clock in Superman action going here, a whole bunch of smiles. We have the female equivalents over here and we have about a whole bunch of different ones that you can choose from. So in our first slide, our guy is not very really happy because he doesn't have anything to make and explain a video with. So let's choose unhappy Steve as I'm going to call him over here. We'll right click him and click on copy and then navigate back to our project. Click on the first slide and click right click and paste. And boom, we have him in our slide. Let's then just resize him and we can add him over here onto the side. Now, in order to add an animation to this so it doesn't just start abruptly, we can go into the motion tab and then we can click on one of these animations. So for example here, I wanna have him come in from the right. So I'm gonna click on drag right. Immediately this hand pops up and this is what's really cool about this pack is that it does everything for you at just the click of a button. So obviously I don't want the hand here. Let me click the hand and I'm just gonna move the hand over here. And just like that, believe it or not, our first animation is done. So if you're on the first one and we click on animations and preview, we can see our first animation completely done. Now it's not perfect because it's not positioned exactly where we want it, but we can fix that. We can just move him on screen, move him a bit, move the hand a bit, preview the animation. And immediately we have an animation, which is insane because it's just clicking a couple buttons, but let's keep going. So. What I also want to do is obviously have some text over here. So let's go to insert and click on text box. For example, let's uh, drag a text box over here and I'm going to type in something for say for this instance, let's type in saying need an easy way to make explainer videos, question mark. This font is really simple and ugly. So let's highlight all our text. Go to font over here. And for this instance, I downloaded a free font, I think from defont.com called chop, which makes it look like chalk. Okay, let's then just size this bad boy up. And then let's make it white. Because that's the general color that chalk is, you know. <laughs> Captain obvious. So then we obviously now if we check and if we go to if we click this button over here to see an, a preview of our animation, the text is just there and then our man pops in. So obviously we want to have an animation to the text. With our text selected, let's go to motion and then let's type on right text line. Now this may alter your text a bit, but we can just adjust that and make it a little bit back to how it was. Let's just space these out. And now if we get a preview preview. We have a hand writing our text. Now obviously it's not fully perfect and we can do a lot of tweaking to it and adjust the positioning, but you get the basic idea. So let's say we're done with this slide and we move on to our next slide, the next part of our story. So in the next part of our story, let's go back and let's go to design elements. And here in the design element section, we have a whole bunch of different arrows and lines and symbols and things and circles and, and all these different types of things that we can use. So for example, let's say that I want um, our guy to be, I don't know, standing on a floor, for example. So let's go over here to this side and let's click on a line. Let's say we want something nice and bold, this one. Let's click Control C, a shortcut to copy. Let's go back to the main one, which is now on slide two and click on paste. And then let's drag this to the bottom so it can be a type of floor. We can obviously resize it. Oops, that's a bit much. Uh, let's resize it a little bit drag it out and then we can just place it in place. Okay. So with our line in position, let's go up to motion and then let's click on draw a line. And so then if we go up to animations and we click on preview, we can see he's drawing our line. So let's move on with the rest of our story and let's go back to characters. And now we're going to be introducing blue effects, which has templates. So let's get on him being really happy. Click control C to copy, go back, click control V to paste. I'm going a bit faster just to show you guys how easy it is. We'll place him on the floor with a nice good guidelines. And then for motion, we can now have him drag down from the top. We can then drag the hand to be just above his nice little head. We'll click on animations, preview what happens. And we have an animation looking stunning in just a couple of seconds. We can add some text over here. And essentially it's filled with different things what you can do. So 
also another thing I want to show you guys is in the animated section, we also have a whole bunch of different GIF animations here. These are just a few you can get in this pack, but there's a clock and these gears. And if you want to see what they actually do, for example, let's say in the next slide, slide number three, uh, I, want to, I want to use one of these uh, pre-animated GIF files. So let's say after he got the, the blue effects um, template, he's now a guru at doing things like this and he's making lots of cash money. So let's, ri let's right click this, we click Control C. Um, let's go back into our main template. Let's just paste him down over here and let's resize him. We'll add a quick uh, motion to him. We'll click him from the right. Let's just drag the hand. I'm going really fast here just to show you guys how quick it is. Let's go back into animated. Let's click on the cash money, press Control C. Go back, press Control V, put it in over here. Let's click on drag left. So this one comes in from the left. And just like that, we'll see, we click an animation. And as you can see, it's moving because it's animated GIF files. And that's what's really cool about this, is that these animated files in the animated section are actual moving files. So you can see we've added those things, we've added those uh, animations with the motion tab, but it's also actually moving. As you can see, it's floating and this money's moving and the clock obviously ticks. And there's just, there's an infinite amount of possibilities that you can combine using all of the different design elements. You have speech bubbles, you have different social media icons, you have different words and you have you know a whole bunch of different icons and if you want to have like there's literally 28 slides filled with different icons and if you want to have animated ones there's a whole bunch of animated ones for you to choose from so this is just a basic outline if you do buy this pack obviously in the actual pack you will get a link to watch a full in-depth tutorial talking a lot more in detail but for right now i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can do with something like this pack you wouldn't think powerpoint is the place to do it but it's really powerful and really cool and blue effects have made a really cool product in this case and i hope you guys check it out link in the description and that's how you create a really cool business or whatever explainer video in microsoft powerpoint using blue effects's whiteboard explainer pack feel free to check out the product in the description below it is linked down there remember to follow blue effects on twitter and follow them obviously on youtube by subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever we make a new upload you can obviously like this video share it with all of your mates and link to us down below the explainer videos that you are making and show of your products that we can see the talent coming from the blue effects community hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one